so I just finished a sculpture called Automobius. I think it's probably one of the best pieces I have ever done. And that got me thinking, well, okay, so if I made a list of the top five sculptures, what would they be? And as you can see here in the picture, uh, Automobius is, well, it's a Mobius. The shiny part of the sculpture, this is all made out of aluminum. It's all leaves, representational leaves of the trees and bushes that are actually right in the area where this sculpture is installed. And then it has a boulder for a base. The different colors, this is all automotive paint that was put on by myself you know, with a spray gun. And then some of the detail work was done with like an airbrush. Heck, some of it I even did with a pinstriping brush, putting the little veins in the leaves and what have you. And I am just so proud of how this turned out. Another piece that I really love is called Top Knot. And Top Knot is a trefoil knot. Its history actually goes very, very far back. It was actually called a Celtic knot early on. Uh, you know, it, it's part of uh, some religions. I mean, it has been around for a long, long time. And this was just my take on it. The sculpture is all made out of steel. It is very heavy. <laughs> the sculpture itself, before I put it on the, on the pedestal, was actually about, through about four and a half, maybe almost five feet tall. It's a big, big piece. I love the shadows it created. I love the, the, the technical aspects of trying to put this together, get everything to come out square and straight and true. Oh my God, this was so much fun to build. And Top Knot is actually a public commission for the city of Surprise, Arizona. And it now lives out in front of City Hall, right out in the place of honor. So I am honored. And this would have to be another sculpture that I would put on that top five, five list of you know, my favorite sculptures. This is Charged Particle. And it is a truncated octahedron. I love those big words. <laughs> I love geometric shapes. You know, I love playing with geometry. I love just you know the, the the look of it. I love the I love the shadows that it casts, the complexity, the simple complexity of it. It's just it's it's pipe, it's balls, and they're all put together in a certain way. You know, how difficult can it be? <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> it was so it was so difficult. It was so time consuming. Everything had to be cut exactly the length. And I mean, you know, within a thousandth or so. Everything had to be exact. And to tack it all together and then have to reach way down inside there to do all those little welds inside there to make it all come out straight, make it all come out square. What a labor of love. And what a labor of banging my head on the workbench going, why, why, why? <laughs> you know, but. I, I just I love how this turned out. You know, this is one of my one of my pride, pride and joys. You know, that's why it's here in the home with us. Now the geometric shape I did early on was called torrent, and this is an umbilic torus. And umbilic torus is basically a three-sided Mobius strip. You know, if you start here and you go around once, you wind up on a different side. You have to go around three times to get back to where you first started. I actually did this as a suggestion from a friend on one of the art forums I was on. You know, and she just kind of threw it out there as a gauntlet, you know, as, as a challenge to anybody. And I thought, what the heck, let's run with that. You know, let's figure out how to do it, let's make it. This piece turned out so well, I had people fighting over it at an auction at the Phoenix Art Museum when I sold it. You know, it is now in the home of one of the biggest art collectors in Arizona. I love this piece. I, I, I love the look of it. I love, I love running my hand around it. You know, just the, the shadows that it casts. I even took this design, what the heck, let's blow it up to nine feet in diameter. You know, that one's in front of a, a art and science museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. You know, I love my job. And one of the other pieces that I really love to just sit and stare at sometimes, especially if the light is coming in the window just right to, you know, so the sunlight can light it up, is a sculpture called Amethyst City. You look at this and you think, is it really old? Is it new? You know, what's, what, what's going on here? What is this? You know, it, it looks like a ruined castle. 
you know, you know all the walls are there, you know, the, the ramparts, you know, I mean, it, it, it just looks like this old city, you know, that's, that's been vacant for hundreds or thousands of years and it's kind of left in decay just a little. But just some of the delicate, delicate little features that the 3D printer did, this was all printed right here on this machine. Some of them are, you know, some of these little walls, some of these partitions, they're so thin, they're so delicate. You put your hand behind them, you can see your hand through them. You know, if it's sitting by the window and it catches the sunlight you know, in the morning as the sun streams through, and then later on in the day, you get it away from the sunlight, you get it in the shadows, it turns almost black. I love creating work like this. So those are just the top five that I picked out of the past 20 years of making sculpture. <laughs> wow, it's been that long. I hope you enjoyed them too. Please come out to my website and see some of the new masterpieces I'm creating. And I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. Top five? Heck, I could probably rattle off 15 or 20 of them. <laughs>